Welcome to Reference and Master Data Management, Module 7, Section 1. My name is Pat Cupoli. I'm the Certificate Mentor at Edmonds Community College, Pace at IT, Data Management Program. In Section 1, we will learn about the role and importance of planning for Reference and Master Data. We will go over key, basic definitions, key concepts, core principles and guideline activities, areas of study, and primary takeaways. Let's go over some basic definitions and key concepts. Reference data is data used to classify or categorize other data. A value domain is a data abstraction and data modeling which is assigned to a single attribute representing a fact. Master data is the authoritative, most accurate data available about key business entities used to establish the context for transactional data. Master data values are considered gold, golden. And data integration architecture, which controls the shared access, replication, and flow of data to ensure data quality and consistency, particularly for reference and master data. These are some of the planning activities described in Dema DM Bach. One, to understand reference and master data integration needs. Two, to identify master and reference data sources and contributors. And three, define and maintain the data integration architecture. You will complete a set of readings and videos related to these topics. As you work through these activities, consider the following questions. What are typical reference and master data requirements and needs? Why should the data integration architecture be developed and maintained? How are data sources planned for? Business rules usually dictate that reference data values conform to one of several allowed values. The set of allowable data values is a data as a value domain. Reference data value domains change slowly. Without data integration architecture, local reference and master data management occurs in application silos, inevitably resulting in redundant and inconsistent data. Common organizational master data includes data about parties, such as individuals, organizations, and their roles, such as customers, citizens, patients, vendors, suppliers, business partners, competitors, employees, students, and so forth. Products, both internal and external. Financial structures, such as general ledger accounts, cost centers, profit centers, and so on. And locations, such as addresses. <laughs> 